Hello everyone, my name is Jack Southall, filming my second video in one day. I know, that's totally insane. Not really, but anyway, I'm here to talk about the 2014 Superstar of the Year. Now, this is in response to Grossy1000, who recently released a video on um, the NoDQ.com Superstar of the Year, and he just went through all the people who were John Cena... Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. And he talked about who should win and who he thought should win. And I'm going to do the same thing, but it's the same thing here. And I'm going to say who I think should win Superstar of the Year, and that is Seth Rollins. Why? Well, I'm about to tell you why. Um, this is going to go for a little bit. And this video is pretty much going to be called Why I Think Seth Rollins Should Be the 2014 Superstar of the Year. Not just for NoDQ.com, but if the, when the Slammy Awards happen next week and they do the Superstar of the Year, he should win. So um, let's get it started at the top of the year in January. Um, the Royal Rumble, huge event. CM Punk, number one entrant. Who's number two? Seth Rollins. That's a huge opportunity for him. And he ended up going for a really long time, and I think he was like one of the last people in the Rumble. Um, it was Seth and Dean who got eliminated by Roman Reigns, and yeah, I think it was the last six or seven or something like that. So um, yeah, that's a big, big opportunity for Seth Rollins. Then we go to Elimination Chamber. Um, I'm just going to go like pay-per-view by pay-per-view kind of thing, and he has along with The Shield, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns, have an amazing match, like, top-notch with the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan. Just, I was marking out through that entire match, and I think that is a big candidate for match of the year, in my opinion. They just tore the house down that night, and, yeah, they just had an amazing match, and if you do have the network, I recommend going back and watching that match you will not be disappointed. So, it's the big event, WrestleMania 30. And he's still with the Shield, and he, they have broken away from the authority, and they are no longer heels, they are now baby faces. And they've gone after one of Triple H's cronies, the New Age Outlaws, Road Dog and Billy Gunn, and also Corporate Kane. And they ended up beating the crap out of them in under three minutes, which is... Probably in one of the top 10, top 20 shortest matches in WrestleMania history. So, yeah, saying that I beat Kane and New Age Outlaws in three minutes of WrestleMania, that's a pretty big deal. And then we get after WrestleMania, and The Shield decides to take down Triple H. And he's reformed Evolution with Randy Orton and Batista. And over Extreme Rules and Payback, they have great matches with each other. And Seth Rollins did some crazy shit at Extreme Rules. He did, like, he jumped off the balcony New Jack style and onto everyone. And he did a similar thing at Payback when he jumped off the fucking Titan Tron. You know, it was insane. And, and the Shield ended up winning both matches, so that's a bonus for him. And so we go to the night after Payback in one of the most shocking moments. Okay, not the most shocking moment but one of the most shocking moments of the year is Seth Rollins, chair in hand, side by side with The Shield. Triple H and Randy Orton comes out. Triple H says there's always a plan B, and that plan B was Seth Rollins as he nails Roman Reigns with a chair. Dean Ambrose looks at him like, what the fuck, bro? And he nails him with a steel chair, and he is now a member of the authority. And he turns full-blown heel... He keeps saying that he didn't sell, sell out. He bought in, and he becomes probably one of the best heels. And you know what? Fuck it. He was the best heel of the year, in my opinion. And Dean Ambrose, rightly so, is pissed beyond belief. And he wants to go at Seth Rollins. So it's money in the bank time, so that's no help for him. Seth Rollins has to deal with Dean Ambrose and four other guys in the Money in the Bank ladder match, and they ended up tearing the house down. Because when you watch the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, the match you want to see 
the most is the Money in the Bank ladder match. And if you do put in a great show on that, you've you've done your job. So he goes from main eventing a pay per view, which I've got to mention before at payback, and not only that, he wins the Money in the Bank. Yeah, Kane helped him out, but still, Seth Rollins won the Money in the Bank. Like that's a big deal, you know, winning the Money in the Bank. So he is guaranteed a world championship shot. So don't be surprised in 2015 if we see a brand new WWE champion in Seth Rollins. And so he keeps going on his with his great feud with Ambrose at Battleground. He um, says, oh, Dean Ambrose has gone somewhere. So he gets the win by forfeit. And so Dean Ambrose just comes out and beats the crap out of Seth Rollins. It ends up throughout the whole pay-per-view. And then we get to SummerSlam and... It's Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Finally, we're going to get an awesome match between these two. And Dean Ambrose says it's a lumberjack match. And so most of us are like, Ugh, you know, lumberjack match, really? And those two ended up stealing the show. In a, probably the best lumberjack match I've ever seen. They Not only did they go, like, just kept them in the ring, they went fucking everywhere. And who got the win at the end? Seth Rollins. Then we go to Night of Champions. It's scheduled Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is still pissed at Rollins, but unfortunately he gets an, what is it, a hernia or something like that. And Seth, similar way at Battleground, gets the win by forfeit. Um, Ambrose was out filming a movie. He comes back and he wants revenge on Seth Rollins. So at Hell in a Cell, it's Ambrose and Rollins inside the Hell in a Cell, and they main event again. Seth Rollins main evented a pay-per-view twice this year. Well, he main evented two pay-per-views twice. That's what I meant to say. And they ended up putting on a pretty damn good match, in my opinion. They do, and they kind of, um, say, um, like, they paid homage to older Hell in a Cells, like, the bit when they're holding on, and they fall off the side of the cell, was like Shawn Michaels did at Bad Blood 97, if you guys remember that. And Rollins, once again, beats Ambrose inside the Hell in a Cell, mostly thanks to Bray Wyatt, but, you know, he still wins. And then it comes to Survivor Series, he's the captain of Team Authority. So that makes him, like, three main evented pay-per-views. Like, that's crazy. And he ends up being the sole survivor of Team Authority, even though the Authority lost, thanks to Dolph Ziggler beating him and with Sting re returning, or debuting. You know, that's still a pretty impressive thing for Seth Rollins. And even at TLC coming up in a few weeks, he's going to face John Cena. Now, I know when up-and-coming wrestlers face John Cena, it's not the greatest thing in the world. But here's what's going to happen. It's going to be a tables match. And if Rollins wins, Cena is no longer the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which he beat Randy Orton at Hell in a Cell to get that right. So if he beats John Cena, he's going to be the main reason he's not the number one contender. That's fucking huge. Is that going to be the main event? Who knows? So, not only he might main event four, um, but we're going to have to wait and see for that. So, yeah, no, he won Money in the Bank, he main evented three pay-per-views, and he ended up having amazing matches throughout the year. So, that is why, in my opinion, Seth Rollins should be Superstar of the Year for 2014. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this pay-per-view. For this pay-per-view. This isn't a pay-per-view. This is a fucking YouTube video. <laughs> Um, yeah, for this video, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check me out on Twitter at JackamanLol31. Make sure to check out Grossy1000 at, on his YouTube channels, Grossy, which is his main channel, and Grossy Wrestling. I'll put, probably put them in the description. And ch check out my 2K15 Universe Mode Diary. I've written up my first episode of Monday Night Raw, so check that out. And not only that, it's on the brendanplays.com forward slash forms, so... Sign up for that and say good day to me and say good day to a huge amount of great people on that site. 
And make sure to check out the creator of that site, Brendan Plays. Check out his channel. He is fucking awesome. Does some of the best universe mode stuff I've seen. Um, so yeah, that's going to be all the plugs I'm doing. Hope you enjoyed. Leave in the comment section down below who you think should be Superstar of the Year. And um, that's going to be it. See you guys later. And I am out in three, two, one.